If you've ever reloaded Windows onto a computer, then you know that sometimes certain machines in the device manager are just missing their drivers. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to identify, find, and install any of those missing drivers. So let's get started. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, every Tuesday I have short Technical Support Tuesday videos like this one here, and on Fridays I have more technical videos for mega nerds like me. So if you ever need technical support or like more technical things, then go ahead and consider subscribing and slap that like button to go ahead and help hack that YouTube algorithm for me. Let's get started. So first I'm going to hold down Windows and then hit pause break to pull up the system settings window here and come on down to device manager or you can just click on start and type in device manager and click on it there as well. Now here we have a unknown device. So if I double click on it and then go to details and then go ahead and select hardware IDs, right click on the very first one, copy that and let's come on over to Google and do a search for that. So let's take a look at the site. Let's see, okay, so this is a free fall sensor. Now, because this particular machine actually does not have a standard hard drive in it, like one of these here, a standard hard drive actually has platters on the inside that they're rotating very fast, and then they have heads that move around kind of like the needles on a record player to read and write data. The drive that is in this particular machine is not a standard hard drive, it is a solid state drive and does not have any moving parts. So what that means is that this particular driver I don't need to install it because what it does is uh, detects when the machine is falling. So it's a free fall sensor. So if it is midair, it will go ahead and try to park the heads off to the side so that it doesn't damage the platters when the machine lands on whatever surface. Okay, so since we are running a solid state drive in this machine, then this is not needed. So I'm not gonna waste the time to download that. Now let's take a look at this driver. Come on over to Google, paste it in. Now driver identifier is one of, well, to me, it is really the only legitimate third party site other than a manufacturer uh, to be able to download drivers with uh, minimal risk, provided that you pay attention to what you are going to be clicking on. Okay, so there's a bunch from Lenovo, it's Asus, here's Dell. So let's go ahead and click on download advertisement. Now here is where we would download. So click that. And now here's a link to be able to download it directly from the manufacturer server. And if you look at the bottom left over here, right down here, uh, it shows ftp.dell.com. So you know it's actually coming directly from Dell. So it is not available. So let's take a look and go back and we can try to get it from the driver identifier server. I'm just going to copy that link, paste it in. There we go. So for whatever reason, sometimes in Chrome, it seems like I have to copy and paste a link to be able to download it. So WiMAX, if you're not familiar with it, was just a older like 4G standard. And although I don't know of any carriers that are utilizing it currently right now, uh, this machine, when it was manufactured, had the capabilities to be able to be linked up with your carrier, pop in a SIM card, and be able to access the internet from anywhere that there's signal. So now that it has downloaded, we'll go ahead and click on it. I'm just gonna come back here, double click on it again, just hit okay or cancel, minimize that, there we go. Continue, okay, and yes. And now we just hurry up and wait. It's like watching paint dry, just a little bit faster though. Okay, all files are unzipped, hit okay. And then next, next again, accept it, and next. Now you'll notice in the device manager, it actually went ahead and disappeared here and showed up right here. It's still installing and we hit finish and there we go. Now for this uh, driver, I'm going to just go ahead and disable it. And again, that is for the free fall sensor and there we go. So if you made it all the way through the video, then go ahead and make sure that you slap that like button if you haven't already and consider subscribing. And over here, I'm gonna have some more tech support videos if you wanna check that out and I'll catch you in the next one.